Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Gason. We hope you're safe and healthy wherever you happen to be watching from tonight. Leslie has the night off. And at the top, following up on a fatal shooting over the weekend at a West Side convenience store, the victim, a 35-year-old father of six. And tonight, police are looking for two men who are said to be persons of interest in the death of Ruben Castillo. It happened just after midnight at Ons Market near Southport and Tarleton. Police say Castillo was fatally shot after some sort of altercation. And at this point, no arrests have been made, but police have released pictures of the two men they are looking for, and they're asking anyone with information to give them a call, 361-886-2600. In well, the meantime, Castillo's family members are talking to our Rudy Trevino, and it is our top story at 10. Everybody thinks, okay, well, this was, you know, a drive-by drug deal gone wrong, and, you know, because of the neighborhood, you know, there's nothing like that. MJ Castillo is Ruben Castillo's aunt. She tells me her nephew was not a gang member or involved with drugs or other illicit behavior. Instead, she says Ruben was a dedicated father of six children, proud of his two sons, ages 15 and 14, and just as proud of his four daughters, ages 13, 6, 3, and a one-year-old. MJ told me Ruben was one of four boys in the Castillo family, all growing up in the same West Side neighborhood, adding that he was very active in his children's lives, dedicating every hour of his day to keeping his kids on the straight and narrow. It was all about, you know, getting his kids where they needed to go. They were always in, you know, um, tournaments and stuff like that out of town. And he was always out of town with the kids, taking them to their, you know, tournaments and football games and, you know, whatever sports they were in. And MJ said Ruben had his nightly routine down, always checking in with his mom. And that was the last thing he told, you know, his mom. I'm ready to go to bed, I'm gonna go grab me something to drink and I'm going home and she was like, just step in the shower when they called me. While Corpus Christi police investigators have released photos of two people of interest, I had to ask the question that most wonder in horrific cases such as this. Do you think that Ruben knew who did this to him? Yes, we all do. Tonight, the Castillo family, Ruben's three remaining brothers, are working to organize a benefit in hopes of raising money to help with burial costs. And the family also set up this GoFundMe account. We'll have all the information on our website. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.